Gemini, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. I am excited to be here with you, Gemini, as per usual. If you are a regular, welcome back. Love having you here. Really grateful for you. If you're new, welcome. My name is Bronya. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. And I am going to be getting started with a couple of oracle cards today to bring through your message. Sometimes the whole thing is like a boom. This is a personal reading for me. I love it. Wow. How did that happen? Uh, and whilst that is super cool, it's not always the norm. You know, it's not possible with a general collective reading. So sometimes it's just little pieces, but don't underestimate those either. Occasionally, none of it's going to resonate. So just leave it for somebody else because know that it, it will resonate for someone else and maybe it's just not your reading. So we've got a strong message here. Nothing will come of this situation. Um, void of course moon. So maybe you're worried about an outcome. You might be worried about a worst case scenario and look, I get it, you know, we're human beings and we often get into that sort of, um, you know, doomsday thinking, like what if it fail, what if it all falls apart, you know, oh my goodness, we've got to move house or, you know, my hours are getting cut and we, we really panic about it, but there's always a solution. So nothing will come of the situation, whatever is that stress that you're thinking about, it could be playing out in your relationship, something like that. Um, you're being told that, you know, nothing's going to come of it. So think, maybe you just need to hear that, but let's keep going. So I'm using the Divine Initiation Oracle. I will then move to the Ethereal Alchemist Tarot. Now, uh, I'll link you to these decks. They are my, my latest. I love them. And uh, you might want to add them to your collection as well. Just check them out. All right, we've got Nourish Your Soul. Okay, so this is, I, I see, you know, energy being poured into you, poured into your situation. So maybe you are worried about lack or loss, you know, but you're actually being told whatever this change is that, you, you know, you're worried about, consider, just for a moment, that maybe this could be a uh, divine realignment. Like maybe this is going to be the best thing that happened, but we don't know that until looking back. So something about this is actually going to nourish your soul. In the meantime, if you are in a bit of mental overwhelm, up your self-care, make sure that you're filling your own cup, doing your grounding practices, your exercise, whatever works for you, uh, that's going to help you navigate this. All right, Gemini, full tarot deck, what's our first energy, eight of swords, absolutely, I was talking about the mental overwhelm and this is the card. You know, it talks about where we feel stuck by our circumstances, um, you know, and that's causing us undue, you know, stress or worry. Now, sometimes it can also be feeling like, I know I want change, but I'm feeling, um, you know, guilty or obligated or accountable or responsible for, for putting myself first or for, for doing this. The Eight of Swords has a message that says there is always a way through, right? But sometimes we need to see things from a different perspective. That, yeah, there, you might be on the threshold of change, but, you know, nothing is going to come negatively of this situation. So it could be like you, you're being pulled into the unknown a little bit with the energy that I'm feeling intuitively. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. There's a new beginning here. I always say that the page links us to the ace of the suit that comes through, meaning we have a precursor to the ace of pentacles, right? And you can see this person's holding it behind their back. It's like, surprise, the new beginning that you didn't know you needed. <laughs> the universe does that to us, right? So the, the page of pentacles can be a messenger that says there's a new beginning coming. Like, And I, it's, this, it's the earth themes, you know, like the finances, the job, the housing, uh, and it could be, you know, a landlord says, I'm selling the home and you've got to, you've got to move. Or, you know, you are, you know, voluntarily moving, but of course that comes with stress as well. And it could be a change of, you know, work contracts, commitments, or financial situation. But what if this change, like I said, had a really big silver lining? What if it was the best thing that you needed? So it's about letting go and letting letting God do what you need to do, but then surrender to the process because Ten of Cups is here. And this is a, you know, beautiful, happy outcome for the long term, right? So you're going through a short-term discomfort or destabilization to get closer towards the Ten of Cups. 
which for me is that blessed best life. It's normally, you know, feeling like you and your family are happy and supported and in the right place. And it can link to, you know, the home environment. So, yeah, of course, you know, our work career. Well, okay, we'll take those. Our work career is what provides for that or our financial situation or our housing situation. So these cards have chosen themselves. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. Wow. High, high Priestess and the Ace of Cups. Right. So here we have an ace coming through an emotional new beginning and the high priestess is an energy of you didn't see this coming or all will be revealed and she has like you see the columns there the, the the black and the white the light and the shade and it talks about the duality you know that we are, are worried about that the worst case scenario here as well but she sits on the threshold of possibility that's the high the high priestess energy if there is um, a decision that you need to make here, this is basically feel the fear and, and go through the threshold because life is about to get so much sweeter with the Ace of Cups. I, if you watch my readings, I've only just got these tarot decks, but um, I've been saying how this reminds me of a, an ice cream sundae, right? And it's like, it's a sweet beginning for you and your family, but you might not know it yet. And it's saying, get that spoon and just dig in, right? We've got a delicious new beginning here that just feels like it is meant to be, but the high priestess can, it can be a bit of a surprise. It can be like unknown. It's usually there are unknown elements to it. And you could be like, you know, in conscious control of this going, well, do we take that leap of faith or not? And I just feel that one ace of cups, one little cup here can become the 10 of cups pretty easily and you know I was feeling that when I was reading Nourish Your Soul I'm not sure if I said it or not but I said you've got to fill your cup first you know this is a cup filling exercise so nothing will come negatively of this situation which doesn't mean to say it's easy or smooth sailing or anything like that but it feels like not only will your worst case scenario um, not play out but we have the opposite right maybe you feel like you're in the void right now where it's like I don't really have clarity I'm not really getting any green lights here I feel like my guides aren't really talking to me but that in itself is the lesson to trust the inner intuition of the high priestess and maybe that's the life lesson that is being taught here and really having the faith and knowing that you know you will get your just desserts so i'm going to leave it there gemini and i do hope you enjoyed this message if you would like to follow up with a personal reading first link down below will pop you over to my website and you can check those out i'll link you to my instagram and tiktok accounts as i'm very active and interactive with different daily content over there I have a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide uh, down below and also two paid courses, an introductory course and a deep dive into intuitive tarot my way with my signature reading process. So I'm sending you so much love and magic, Gemini. Do take care. Bye for now.